I hope that clears up your doubt, Sanjeev. So, part, what is bullish engulfing and bearish engulfing? Okay, bullish engulfing and bearish engulfing forms under the uh, candlestick patterns. So, let's do the um, bullish engulfing first. Let's say if you are in a downtrend, the first candlestick is negative and it's like this. It's a negative day. So the market falls within uh, when, it's, when it's in a downtrend, so nothing too surprising in it. Next day, this is where the key thing comes in. The next day, market has to open below. It has to open down because we are already in a downtrend. The sentiment is weak. The market continues that by opening below. But in that day, it does not fall further, but it goes up. And it goes up so much that it engulfs the entire fall of previous day. So the first day is negative and the second day is positive. Positive so much that it completely engulfs day one. So if this is my day one and this is my day two, then day two is engulfing entire of day one. Now when it comes to engulfing, you have to keep one thing in mind that the body of day two has to engulf the body of day one. We do not consider the shadows. So what do I mean by this? Let's say if you have a situation where you have day one like this and you have day two like this, this is not an engulfing pattern because the body of day two is this and the body of day one is this. So the day two body is not engulfing the day one body. So this is not an engulfing pattern. The shadows essentially are negated. So when it comes to engulfing, you do not focus what, what are the shadows doing. You focus only on the bodies. So when I consider only the bodies, do I see an engulfing? I don't see an engulfing. So that's, that's bullish engulfing. The mirror image of bullish engulfing is bearish engulfing where it shapes up after an uptrend. So markets are in an uptrend and day one has to be positive with the market. When it's positive with the market, day two opens higher and it engulfs the entire body of day one like this. And in this case, we have a neat bearish engulfing pattern. So this one is the bearish engulfing and uh, the one that we drew here is a bullish engulfing. The way to get some uh, kind of confirmation of the reversal is you wait, let's say the market is in an uptrend and it has formed a bearish engulfing. You wait for the lowest of these two candles to be reached on the downside. When the markets come below this, you can expect that the trend has reversed. On the other hand, in this case, the bullish engulfing, you keep an eye on the highest point of the two candles, the highest of the two. And when this level is taken out on the upside, you can expect that the market will move on the upside and the earlier downtrend is now reversed. That's bullish engulfing and bearish engulfing for you. Right. Uh, Sanjeev has another question. If somebody sell or buy one share, okay, it is counted as one. So when you do, when you talk about volume, Sanjay, uh, keep th this thing in mind that it is the number of shares exchanged hands. So if someone is buying, the other person is also selling. So it's not calculated one plus one, two, but it's calculated only one. Good morning, Mr. Prabhakaran. Yes. Hi, we are just discussing uh, doubts related to technical analysis uh, modules, which are the part of the ENCCMP program. We have spoken about wedges. We have spoken about gaps. We just discussed uh, patterns, uh, bullish engulfing and bearish engulfing. We also shown you, and I'm again making a request that please practice the subject uh, this is uh, one subject which needs continuous practice. The more you practice, the more you look into charts and draw and analyze and make right trades and wrong trades, the better your understanding of the market through charts become. 
it will not happen if you just read a couple of books and um, you you probably expect that you'll make all the right trades. Um, it doesn't work that way. So I'll request everyone to uh, practice. That's that's the most important thing. Right. Coming back to queries, doubts. Um, do we have any queries? All right. Uh, does one set of candles determine bullish and bearish? Does one set of candles determine bullish and bearish engulfing or a series of such set? Does one set of candles determine bullish and bearish engulfing or a series of such set? So, uh, bullish and bearish engulfing is made up of two candles. It, ca it is not made up of three or four or a set of candles. So, like I drew uh, before, it has to be made up of two candles. It can't be four or five candlesticks. So, day number one negative, day number two positive, I have a bullish engulfing. Day number one positive and day number two uh, negative, we, I have a bearish engulfing. It, it should not be like, let's say I have day number one, which is positive, and then you have day number two, which is a little negative, and day number three, which is like this, and then you have a big movement like this. So this is such such a three four candle formations does not fall under bearish engulfing. It has to be two candlesticks. Hi Sachin, welcome. Okay, dark cloud cover. Dark cloud cover is easier to understand now that we have covered bullish and bearish engulfing. So the market is in an uptrend, and this is a very important thing because these patterns continue to uh, reverse the trend. Beg your pardon. Day one is positive in nature, so we have a positive candlestick, and day two opens higher, but it starts to sell off. Now, if it had covered the whole thing, if it had covered the entire body of day one, we would have got an engulfing in our hands. But what dark cloud cover does it? It fails to engulf the entire day one's body. It does not engulf the entire body of day one but it does good enough to engulf more than 50 percent of day one's body such a pattern is called dark cloud cover so I have an uptrend I have candle number one which is a positive candle in line with the uptrend day two opens higher but sells off but day two fails to engulf the entire day one, but the 50% mark of day one's body, this is the body of day one, this is more or less the 50% mark, day two closes below this blue line. So more than 50% is engulfed. This pattern is called a dark cloud cover. Right. I hope that clears out your doubt, uh, Sanjeev. So, okay. Can you show a chart containing all the candlestick patterns? Okay. It will be difficult to find a chart which will have all the patterns in place at the same point of time. But we may try. Uh, let's say we are over here in ICIC Bank and I'll try and figure out if we have any of these patterns that we mentioned right now. Let's say for example if we come here, this is a good enough bearish engulfing. See we have got a 3-4 day move. We have the red body eating up the entirety of the green one. So we have a bearish engulfing there. Let's um, look if we have any patterns at this side. All right, let's change and let's say if I open Nifty and look for any patterns, candlestick patterns which are there in Nifty. And we are talking about engulfing, bullish, bearish, and we're talking about dark cloud cover. All right, so in these, okay, this is a nice uh, bearish engulfing. If you see here, we have another bearish engulfing over here. It has to come after an uptrend. And as you see that this is the positive day, the next day is the negative, opens higher but sells off, engulfs the entire body. Same thing happens over here, same thing happens, takes place over here as well. So these three are all your bearish engulfing. Over here if you keep a watch, this is your piercing line which is the opposite of dark cloud cover. 
if you look further this side these are not this is not an exact dark cloud because it would it should close below the 50% mark in this case it fails to do so this is a more or less it should have opened higher so not a very classic bearish engulfing this red should have been higher than the green one so not it doesn't fit in that well yeah so this this is a bearish engulfing which is fitting really well if you see here it's fitting really well right so yeah so that these patterns do do shape up they don't shape up all the time but when they do they have a possibility a higher propensity that they will go right and give a move on the opposite direction i think in the videos i have covered quite a bit of uh, these basic candlestick uh, patterns you will not have one chart having all the patterns at the same point of time uh, which brings me back to the same point that start looking into charts um, irregularly uh, the more you look into charts uh, the better understanding you'll get okay let's see what's what's in store the question okay does stock movement always follow one or the other pattern before taking on any direction uh, no not necessarily uh, let's say um let's say we we have a chart which is in an uptrend or we may parallelly have a chart which is in a very severe downtrend now every trend reversal so this is an uptrend and this is a downtrend and sometime in the future this uptrend is going to reverse on the downside and this downtrend is going to reverse on the upside but it may not always so this at the top let's say <clears throat> let's say the market tops out and the market falls and in this case the market bottoms out and it rallies on the upside at this top or at this bottom it need not be necessary that you always have a reversal pattern it is not necessary it's not written anywhere that every time it has to take a shape of a pattern not necessary it may not give any pattern still it can reverse but if it gives a pattern then it raises the possibility of a reversal that's that's how it is right so if i look into the chart let's say for example uh, we go back to the bearish and gulfing that we saw here right let's say we come over here and let's say that this top does not form any pattern it can still be a top and the market can fall so every top and every bottom need not have a pattern number 1 but when it has a pattern when it shapes up as a pattern it raises a possibility that the trend can reverse and it gives you a higher confidence in your trade that right now the trend has a higher propensity a higher probability to reverse so i can take a high confidence trade that's the difference right okay in normal days without any special news can we encounter bearish engulfing and bullish engulfing on alternate days yes yes highly possible in fact such in in most of the times you will see that uh, the prices behave much before the news comes in the news always follow later so it's not the news that's that is uh, forming the price pattern the price pattern actually forms the news right a very important thing in in this answer of mine i'll come back to the same point the more you look into charts especially if you track markets start tracking markets you'll get a very nice understanding of this fact that the market bottoms out or tops out much before the news comes in it's always has been the case so uh, you will get to have a clear understanding of this when you start tracking the markets and looking into charts more regularly right so going back to doubts 